Hey, what's up guys, James here. What I wanna do in this video is just show you simply how to set a stop loss on Bittrex, okay? So there's lots of different exchanges out there. There's Poloniex, there's Bitstamp, there's all these different places. I'm gonna show you specifically how to set a stop loss inside of the Bittrex exchange. Now, obviously this is the same concept no matter what exchange you're on, but I have seen some people have specific questions about Bittrex, so I'm gonna actually show you in this video, okay? So here's an example. This is a, a coin called Rise. And uh, this is against the you know Bitcoin. It's the it's the Bitcoin Rise pair. And what I'm going to do, I actually do have some Rise right now in my uh, in my account, and I'm going to set a stop loss. All right, to show you exactly what to do. So let's just imagine right now the price is out at uh, you know ten thousand four hundred eighty one satoshis or point zero 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 one zero four eight one. And let's just say that I wanted to set my stop loss at, at 10,000 Satoshis, okay? Or at 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. Let's just say I want that to be the stop loss, all right? What I'm gonna do is I come over here and I usually just click the amount of rise that I have in my account. So I usually just click that and what that does is it just fills in um, the number of units that I have of rise, okay? Then what I normally do is I just click on, um, it doesn't really matter how you do this, but uh, I'm just gonna click last, like click price and then click last. I'm gonna edit this here in a second, so this is not what it's gonna be, but it doesn't really matter because you can just edit the price over here. Now what I'm gonna do right here under the type is I'm gonna go limit, I'm gonna set it to conditional, and I'm gonna tell BitterX to sell my rise whenever the price meets a certain condition. And that condition, so I click the drop down arrow, is gonna be whenever the price gets less than or equal to 10,000 Satoshis, I want my rise to be sold off, okay? I wanna sell my rise. So what I do is I click on less than or equal to. So this is the condition, all right? This is the most important part. So I wanna sell my rise whenever the price gets to 10,000 Satoshis or less. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this price right here, even though it's not the correct one, just to give me you know, the start to go ahead and edit it. So I want it to be 0 .0001, and then the rest are zeros, okay? Because I want it to be 10,000 Satoshi. So I'm telling BitterX, whenever Rise gets to the price of 10,000 Satoshis or less, I want you to sell my rise, but then I have to tell the exchange what price to sell my rise at. So if the price is falling fast, and the price, let's say the price is like falling really fast, and it comes down and it hits the $10,000 mark, it triggers a communication to the exchange and says, hey, BitterX, sell my rise right now. But then BitterX comes back and says, well, what price do we sell it at, right? And this is where, what I, this is what I do personally. I always make my ask price less. This is when I'm selling off whenever the price is dropping. I always make the ask price less than the condition price, okay? So this is like the the stop price this is what triggers the communication to better x to sell off so what i'm going to do is i'm actually instead of making this ten thousand satoshis just like this one i'm actually going to make this uh i'll make it like zero nine okay and then i might do like oh um 80. okay so i might make this nine thousand eighty satoshis i'm going to do it a little bit less than the trigger price, okay? That way if the price, cause if the price falls super fast and it falls through and it hits 10,000 but it's still falling like a second right after it hits 10,000 and my ask price is 10,000, it may not be enough time for BitterX to sell my rise off. So what happens is uh, I my order doesn't get filled, right? And even though the price fell, my stop loss may not work. So that's why I always make my ask price less this is what i'm selling okay um so i'm selling it off because if the price hits ten thousand, i know that somebody will take the rise for nine thousand eighty. right if the current market price is ten thousand, somebody will be there to take it for nine thousand eighty because people will obviously buy it lower than market price that's what i do on my stop loss let's say that i wanted to make my stop loss i wanted to actually sell it off for ten thousand. then what i could do is i could sell when uh well, i don't want to confuse you on this but let's say that you wanted it to be a different number like 
um, you were willing to, to get rid of it at 10,000, what I would probably do, like if this is what you really wanted to sell it at, then what I would do is I would change this number and I would say if the price hits uh, 10,030 Satoshi, something like that, or 10,020, 10,040, somewhere in there, I say whenever the price hits 10,030 or less, then I want it to sell off my rise and I'm willing to part with my rise for 10,000 Satoshi. So I hope that makes sense. Um, thank you for watching this video. And obviously you're gonna click sell rise, right? And what it will do is it will it will put an open order, okay? It'll, well, I'll actually do it. Let me go ahead and do it. I'm gonna change this so just to be careful because, well, it shouldn't come down to 10,000. All right, so let's just do it like this. Okay, and I'm just gonna click sell rise. Okay, and see how it says uh, rise sell placed. What this just did is it opened, it put an open order in my account. So now I have this open order right here, and this is the open order, okay? And whenever the, that condition is met, it will sell off my rise and turn it back into Bitcoin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and actually cancel this, this order because I don't. that's not what I want right now. But anyways, I hope that made sense, and um, that is it. So guys, if you click the link right below this video, uh, we have a free webinar where we can show you for free, it doesn't cost anything to attend the webinar, how we are multiplying our Bitcoin every single day doing simple trades. Guys, I just recently had one day where I had a 43%, a 26%, and a 23% gain on three different trades in the same day. You can make absolutely crazy money right now in the crypto uh, currency world. So if you're interested in that, click the link right below, register for that webinar, and we will see you there. Okay, thanks for watching this video, and we'll talk to you soon.